What is up everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. My name is Miles Rowe and in today's video we have the news of the week guys, A is over, the fun is over. What I mean by that, it's of course that Call of Duty have announced that they will be looking into the unusual buff of the incendiary rounds which uh, had been making, you know, the headlines in the past couple of days and surely had made the game um, extremely uh, popular over the weekend but with that being said of course we also had a free weekend where we uh, have seen a lot of new players kind of during the servers so maybe it was a bit of a marketing stunt from uh, the Activision and Treyarch team or was just simply you know a missed bug that uh, no one had paid attention to but with anything uh, kind of unrelated to this particular um, um, uh, news we have kind of thought in making this sort of uh, challenge where we've tried different LMGs which you know by the way I haven't necessarily been a huge fan of um, in the past few seasons so you know at least I thought to pair them up with the infantry rounds and just see how well they're doing so We've picked three which we are trying. The first one, as you guys can see now on the screen, is the RPK. Um, unfortunately, not for all three of them, we had the mags of holding. So the last one, which um, uh, we've tried, uh, was just the uh, weapon on its own with the um, attachments and the infantry run. But for the other two, we uh, used also the mags of holding, which obviously had made a difference uh, because they were just, uh, yeah completely uh, um, unstoppable but with that being said I mean the main thing that I'll probably want to uh, highlight here it was that, that I had to make this video simply because I was kind of a bit behind the curb when it came to the incendiary rounds um, and I wasn't necessarily wanting to follow it so you know just to kind of buy myself time until the news actually came out I thought to have this uh, this particular challenge where I wanted to share with you guys how these free weapons uh, do. Of course, this is something that I appreciate. Not everyone would like to try, so for that reason, um, I thought to do it myself, just for your you know entertainment. But all in all, I mean, the reality is that we are probably wanting to see some really powerful content coming up for zombies. And with Season 4 Reloaded um, not necessarily being the best in terms of the news we've received, we want to probably, you know, compensate with the other things that uh, the game uh, hasn't been delivering recently. So, you know, having the interview around was definitely fun in the first day or so, but afterwards it did become a bit uh, unbearable. And I think for players that, you know, like to do certain challenges, this was definitely becoming a lot easier than expected. Also, it did, did the bring a lot of players into the tier 3 area, which was making it very annoying, uh, simply because everyone was, you know, um, uh, overpowered. So, in this way, it was attracting a lot more interest from the map than it, it would usually bring. Um, so, I'm not sure if you guys have experienced this, it was definitely my uh, my experience in the past few days, which was becoming a bit annoying, and hence why, you know, trying to do other things uh, in order to uh, uh, help the game um, become, you know, again enjoyable and making the most of it uh, while trying to uh, create some content for you guys. But overall, I mean, with the news, we should expect these things to be nerfed, and once they are there, we will probably have to look again at, you know, what's the best um, class to use. I have tried the latest SMG, which, you know, I've made a video about, and you guys can see it on the right hand side on screen now. Um, I cannot say that I was really impressed with it, um, and we've kind of leveled it up within three, uh, three games. Um, it's definitely a good option, uh, very similar to the FJX. Um, unfortunately, I don't think it was, you know, something which will make the charts, uh, at least for me, in the coming uh, uh, weeks of, of the game. Um, also, we um, had a look at the uh, Lockwood, 
um, which you know with the uh, uh, new ammunition mode uh, it was absolutely you know uh, unstoppable again it was it was nice to replay with something that we were a bit familiar with but just given that this was a broken mode I don't think uh, it was something that um, I should have get too excited about because it would not be something that would last for too long um, so you know it's interesting to see what the game will bring in the next couple of weeks uh, slash months because you know uh, the content will have to evolve um, if they are planning to continue the storyline into Black Ops um, so we will have to see how they would end up blending uh, at the right point so this will be interesting to see and of course we have our timeline here the uh, present one uh, in the Modern Warfare 3 Zombies which we need to see how it ends um, and right now I don't think we have kind of the hint of what would perhaps happen uh, towards the end of the game which you know um, it's it's fine to an extent I guess but when we don't really have uh, a lot of content coming up when we expect it to come uh, that's when you kind of put a bit of a question mark on uh, um, on the actual script that has been created all right so going back to the game I mean Overall, I think with the RPK, the um, the weapon itself kind of looks, um, you know, a bit more mature in that respect. With the mags of holding, it definitely helps um, uh, not having to have the worry of the reload. It is, however, a quick reload because you have uh, one compact magazine rather than, you know, one of those uh, big uh, uh, sack of bullets that you have to reload. So that, to that respect, I think once you're... Um, getting the hang of it the only annoyance that uh, comes with this weapon is the mobility aspect it, it does feel quite heavy and of course it's an LMG so it should feel but uh, having uh, uh, not to have necessarily the mobility um, it does um, it does kind of slow you down a bit now um, of course with the incendiary rounds it makes any sort of zombie um, obsolete so having that kind of in mind uh, you'll be one of those things that um, you will make you again invincible. Alright, so in a sense this was it for this particular run. Um, I Again, I appreciate um, we obviously have the buff uh, at the point of making this video slash uploading it. So it probably won't be necessarily relevant. But, you know, for the sake of remembering what we had... Um, I think this would be a, a cool video to revisit, especially also because there were some weapons which I don't think uh, uh, many of us uh, would play with normally if you didn't have been for the incendiary rounds. So let's just dive into the loadout and then head off into the next weapon. Alright guys, so for weapon number two, we went with the Bruen. Um, now, Bruen it's a personal favorite of mine. I think in Modern uh, Warfare 2 was definitely a really good weapon to play with in Warzone, as well as in multiplayer, especially when they had this conversion kit uh, that you'd have the 60 round mag, which was absolutely brilliant. Um, but in Modern Warfare 3, and in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies in particular, the uh, Jack conversion kit was making this weapon uh, having a lot uh, a better fire rate unfortunately to make this weapon um, incendiary rounds friendly we couldn't use the um, uh, conversion kit so we had to use a build uh, that would allow the incendiary rounds uh, to be added now was probably the best of the three weapons simply because the mobility was great the fire rate was great as well but again, having the Magdo folding, it did make uh, this print uh, a more enjoyable because we wouldn't have necessarily to reload uh, the bag of bullets uh, that you'd normally have. Which I would imagine without the Magdo folding it would be a bit um, slow and a bit of a, a dragging process. Um, but needless to say, I think it's a fantastic weapon. The uh, accuracy, of course, depending on your build, is pretty good. And 
again needless to say the fire rate is probably the best thing about it um, so one which I would re recommend either way and probably will be something that I will revisit even after the uh, the nerf on the incendiary rounds simply because it did feel really good it was really fun to play with um, and you know it, it, that's pretty much all about right like you want to make sure that your experience with the weapon that you choose uh, is not only a, uh, an efficient one but in the same time an enjoyable one so definitely I got this feeling from this weapon um, and it will be something that I'll revisit uh, either way Right, so I guess in this context, what is your favorite weapon or was your favorite weapon to use with the incendiary round? I have tried various builds um, and I think for me my favorite one was the uh, uh, Jack um, conversion kit on the um, uh, Holger, the Thor rifle, that was absolutely broken and I think it was by far the funnest thing that I've, uh, I've played with, with that particular bit who didn't really need the... Um, uh, Magnum folding because it was a pretty much one shot kill for absolutely anything so it was definitely really fun to play with and as I said at first I think it was something that everyone was enjoying but then later on down the line it became a bit annoying because you'd end up being in the tier 3 area dual contract and then you know someone would come with the super overpowered weapon and uh, build the advantage for you which was taking all the enjoyment away so that for me personally made this particular experience with the injury round um, being a bit of a, a frustrating one as it was the end again um, but you know we probably have to also be grateful because we have seen a really fun side of the game which I appreciate is, uh, is a laggy one and a glitchy one but you know it had helped all of us to uh, enjoy this past uh, few days of, of the game having uh, this uh, super overpowered ammo mode. Also guys, really big thank you for all your support recently with the channel. I uh, can't believe it's been already a uh, few months since I started uh, proactively um, uploading things to the channel. The support has been absolutely amazing and I can't be more grateful to you guys. You've probably made it 
part of uh, of this uh, fantastic journey and you know i i really want you guys to be part of it towards uh, uh, the next great things that will happen to this channel um, so again thanks so much for being part of this and as always i really appreciate everything that you guys are sharing with me uh, from feedback to positive to negatives um, as long as you know we are keeping a polite uh, uh, relevant chat to the uh, um, uh, standards that we are setting but then you know it goes without saying that most of you guys as well are not subscribed to our channel so i would really appreciate if you could hit the subscribe button um, and you know show your support by either commenting or liking this video it would really help a lot and you would just help um, gathering or reaching out to wider audiences Right, I mean, look at this, guys. How broken this rounds have been. I mean, it's 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 amazing to think that this had bypassed the um, you know um, the test side of things and it just been suddenly launched to the game in the same free weekend uh, game that um, uh, people were kind of expecting. So, yeah, it's just again my um, my personal opinion here, but I do think this was kind of at least planned um, not to say the least uh, uh, very organized but some people had left it uh, uh, like that in the hope that you know generate some hype so that's at least just my theory either way i loved it and i think it's something that uh, had made the game uh, particularly popular um, for people to try so you know, if it has been a planned thing ggs and thumbs up to whoever had thought of it there's a really really good marketing uh, strategy um, but I guess from a perspective of uh, a regular player uh, this had been a bit annoying towards the end all right so we've got full stash and with that being said we will probably not take um, any of the other things so we'll probably just head over the exfil let me uh, let's go up Well, the lag was um, pretty annoying here. Yeah, I think uh, it was definitely the right time to, to exfil. But look at the stash, guys. It was actually a really good run, so quite happy with uh, the Bruin overall. And as I mentioned, it's definitely a weapon that uh, works out to be quite versatile um, and keeping up with all sorts of tiers and all sorts of threats. So we we'll definitely recommend giving this a go um, because I have a feeling that even with the nerf of the incendiary rounds, it will still be a really good contender. So I said GG's to the team that I played with because they were absolutely brilliant. So this was it with weapon number two guys. Um, the loadout is now on the screen. Uh, is um, already a blueprint, but you can modify it to your likings.
Right, and the final weapon, guys, it's the Icarus. Uh, the Icarus had been a weapon that um, I think a lot of people have a go about, but it is a very strong contendent. I think, um, again, with this particular one, it was the only one of the list that we haven't played with the Max of Holding, which I regret now because it was probably the best one. Um, and that's simply because it did feel like um, an assault tactical rifle. Um, the damage was fantastic, it was a really 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 good uh, one sort of shot kill weapon um, but he had made uh, the experience or the testing of the incendiary round um, somehow fun the main downside I would say it was um, the fact that the reload speed was really slow so as soon as you press the reload button uh, it would take some time and the annoying thing is that um, you know zombies will come your way and this was the kind of drawback of, uh, of everything but other than that was an absolute amazing option um, and again one weapon that I would probably imagine uh, even post the nerf to still be uh, pretty good Okay, so we handled this so far pretty well. I mean, you guys have seen the bounty had been absolutely obliterated in a matter of seconds. So this is just to show how <laughs> broken these things were. But, you know, I'm repeating myself and again, um, it's, uh, it's with uh, uh, reverse commas a heavy heart to say that we do miss the incendiary rounds. Probably not, but you know, is that is just uh, something that some people probably want to hear so uh, let's just be honest guys they had been an absolute nightmare 
but at least we've tried we had fun and now we can really re go back to uh, our original sort of habit Okay, so I guess this is all for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for uh, staying until the end of the video and first of all to tune in. Um, it had been a, a fun run. It had been a fun sort of uh, video to make. Um, I was uh, pretty nervous at first when it came down to using LNGs. As I said, I'm not really a big fan in zombies of the LNGs, at least in the past season. So it's a really fun video to try. Um, I do hope you guys have enjoyed it. I do hope you have found things useful. Again, worth mentioning, the incendiary rounds by the time of this video being live have been uh, potentially nerfed. So, you know, probably you won't see the same result if you have to try the loadouts, but I'm still putting them on the screen uh, for the sake of you guys knowing what has been used. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video soon.